Several inches of snow could fall before the week's over, but even with our snowy, dark winters, Minnesota ranks 11th in the country for solar power. So Colette from Rogers and Jackie from Carlos asked something many prospective customers want to know. How well do solar panels work in snow? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. How long does the snow stay up there? Typically a couple days. Within two days, it's usually gone. On the day we visited the Martin home, it was 19 degrees and sunny with some clouds. You could see a little snow on their roof, even more on their neighbors, but none stuck on their panels. It comes off pretty quickly. So if it's a light dusting, I, it doesn't even stay. This day, the panels were producing about 60% of what they could bring in on a typical June day. The system will produce almost every day, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of what the conditions are. Eric Passy is with IPS Solar. Winter is the least performing mm -hmm. season um, throughout the year. We have shorter days. The sun is at a lower angle. And we have snow coverage. Those things work against producing solar energy. We're only producing, say, in, in January, uh, about half of the energy that we would see in June. But what works for producing it are colder temperatures. Unlike the South, our panels rarely overheat. It still doesn't quite make up for the shorter days, uh -huh. um, but it's, it's an added benefit to um, performance in the winter. The Twin Cities is equivalent to Houston or Tallahassee when it comes to available sunlight. That's less than Phoenix or Denver, but more than Germany, one of the world's solar leaders. You don't have to live in a sunny Southwest. But let's go back to the snow for a second. That was Colette and Jackie's original question. The panels still produce a little in light snow. In the really heavy stuff, they can't produce at all. But that snow doesn't usually stick around. Here's Pine River Bacchus High School for a day. Solar panels aren't heated, but once that radiant heat catches a corner, the rest comes down pretty quickly. They can clean them off there carefully, but that's not recommended on the roof at the Martin home. In the end, if you look at the full year, it, it definitely pays off. Amy Martin says only two months each year they don't make enough energy to power their entire home. But in the summer, they make more than they need. So was it worth it? It was worth it. Absolutely <laughs> worth it. In Eden Prairie, Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Right now, the average payback time for installing residential solar panels in Minnesota is about eight years. If you want to know how well they might work at your home, the U of M has mapped out the entire state complete with power and cost estimates. And you can find that information at WCCO.com links.